badger. Yeah. Why was the math book sad? I don't know. It had too many problems. From the spiral dimension. Hello and welcome to the spiral dimension. I'm Dr. Von Hoot and this is the Magic Badger. Say hello, Magic Badger. Hi. Okay, today we've got some raw books and uh, we've got a slab, so should we crack on? Let's go! Okay. Ooh, nice. This is one of the recent Dazzler variants that they did. And I just got it because Storm had an awesome funky afro on it. Because, you, know, you know, I like disco. Everybody loves disco. Well, not everybody, but I love disco. I'm, I'm yeah, big fan. That, that's really fun. Mm. I forgot I bought it, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> you know? And, um, well, my one question is, is Storm actually in the book? Because she's an X-Men character and this is an Avengers title. So... Is she in the Avengers at the moment? I'm not the Scoobiest. Right, next up. Okay. <laughs> yes. Okay. This is an issue of Ice Cream Man, which is an anthology series, different sort of horror-ish tale every week, presented by the aforementioned Ice Cream Man. And... Um, this particular cover, is, it's a Virgin variant by uh, Javon Jordan, who did um, a couple of DJ Lynx's exclusives, and also Hail Crow, which is also one of his exclusives. But yeah, but yeah, he's a great artist. He's a rapper as well, interestingly. But I, I thought this was really sinister, and they, um, I got this from Sad Lemon, and Sad Lemon had a really really good sale on at one point it was like half price on everything and stuff that was on sale already so it was cheap cheap as chips so got a couple of those cheap as chips now i can tell this already <laughs> is Power Rangers The Return, David Nakayama variants with Kimberly on the cover. The interesting thing about this book is it is written by Amy Jo Johnson. And Amy, Amy Jo Johnson is the lady that played Kimberly, the Pink Ranger, in the original TV series, which is cool. And as, as a, you know, a 90s kid, like Power Rangers is pretty cool. I, I was probably a little bit too old. Like, uh, I think I was about 12 when it came over here something like that so like it was it was only briefly like my jam as it were it was like about a year or two i was really into power rangers but that's cool i love that cover and i love david nakiyama so no complaints there very nice Whoosh. Oh, Helverine, issue one. Yeah, this is the Scotty Young variant. He does sort of cartoony looking babyish characters. I just thought this one looked especially cool. And also Helverine, cool idea for a character, right? They did this uh, What If series, What If Wolverine got the spirit of vengeance and became the Ghost Rider, okay? And they, they called him Helverine. Yeah. But that was a what-if story, I think. I think it was a what-if. Might be wrong about that. But his son had died. Who, who's, his name's uh, Dokken? Dakken? Not sure how you pronounce it. And I always thought that was a bit of a lame name, honestly. But he, he, he had died, but he has basically the same powers as Wolverine. And he comes back as the Helverine. <laughs> Which is just cool, man. Like... Helverine is a cool name, if you ask me. It's pretty metal. So yeah, glad glad to have that in the collection. And whoosh. I can tell it's DC from the back. 
Got a pretty cool back cover. Oh, look at that. That's lovely. Cat. Yeah, it's a kitty. It's a super cat in space, just hanging around with Power Girl. You gotta love that. She has like Marilyn Monroe. She does. She has a Marilyn Monroe like feature. I love that cover, painted cover. It's beautiful. Yeah, that is tremendous. Love it. <laughs> Count Crowley. Mediocre Midnight Monster Hunter, issue four or four. I, I've, I'm a big fan of the Count Crowley series. It's really fun. It speaks to me as like, you know, we, we, we share things in common, me and Count Crowley. Um, well, she's not a Mal, of course, but otherwise similar. She's a bit surly, whereas I'm sort of quite affable, I like to think. Um, it's written by the actor David Desmolchin, who, I'm trying to think where, where you will have seen him before. He's in lots of stuff, but as a bit actor more often, but really memorable. Like, um, he's in The Dark Knight as the guy that, he's one of the, well, he dresses as a cop in that, uh, but he's not actually a cop. And he's like caught by Batman, and no, that doesn't ring a bell. You haven't seen Suicide Squad, have you, with John Cena? No. No, you don't, uh, that's a shame. No, it's a bit, it's a bit rude, to be honest, yeah. But he's in that as well. So, uh, you probably recognise his face if I showed you it, but that's cool. That's cool. I, li I like Count Crowley a lot. Glad to have that in the collection. Because I think I have all the issues of Count Crowley now. Wow. Okay. Fragili. Fragili. Now, onto the Fragili. Not Fragili. Onto the slab. Um, we've got a couple of slabs in the spiral dimension at the moment, and honestly, I'm not sure which one this is. So I'm going to crack it open. Let's go. Oh, I'm excited. This, this is an absolutely awesome cover. Whoosh. Nick Fury, Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D., issue four, from 1968 Badger, in a 6.0 cream to off-white pages. Whoosh. Signed by Jim Steranko and Roy Thomas. That's pretty freaking awesome. I say this particularly because it did not cost me an awful lot of money and I, I'm so happy to have it because, like, Steranko and Roy Thomas, they are, you know, they're getting on. Like, so it's important to get signatures when you can. Roy, Roy Thomas wrote it. Jim Steranko cover. I love this cover. Like, it's, it's stunningly beautiful. It's, it's a little bit of a shame it's so... Um, so off-white as it were like oh it should it should be, in theory be a bit more white i think but wow it's cool it's so 60s it's really like really great sort of pop art 60s feel to it with nick fury in the middle of it and i don't have any nick fury books i don't think so i i saw this stranko and thought yes yes let's go for it how cool is that yeah, it's not easy to get away with uh, part photo cover, part illustration. And this is perfect. It's just beautiful. I love it. I love it. Really cool addition to the co collection. Like, really cooler than me, I think. I want, I want homage to this. Starring Dr. Von Who. That would be amazing. <laughs> what, like London? Yeah, London. Yeah, yeah. London instead of New York. Uh, that would be amazing. <laughs> Okie dokie. Thanks for your help, Badger. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone. Please like and subscribe. Comment down below. Tell us what you think of the slab. What about the raw books? And we'll catch you next time in the Spiral Dimension. Peace.
from the spiral dimension.